reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross, through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday comes from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. We have been reflecting on the command towards universal love. And uh, in the first reading, we find Moses telling the Israelites, Oh, the command of the Lord is near you. It is in your hearts. It is already on your lips. It's very near you. So you cannot run away from the commandment, the law, the voice of God. Do it. Just execute it. So the commandment is not far away. It is here. But then, how about loving neighbors? The commandment is near us, according to Moses. But how about neighbors? Our neighbors can be very distant from us. How can we recast our thinking about neighbors so that they would be close to us in our minds, in our estimation, that they are not far away? The second reading gives us some indication. Let us turn to Jesus, the image of the invisible God. In Jesus, we have the secret of creation. According to St. Paul, everything was created through Jesus. And everything in the world was created for Jesus. And Jesus is not just the principle through whom and for whom everything was created. Jesus continues to be present in everything so that in Jesus, everything acquires being. So what binds us together? All beings, all created things, persons in the world, it is Jesus. Jesus who is in us. Jesus who is in us, giving us life. So the nearness of Jesus to all of us, making us live, making us exist. Now, in the vision of St. Paul, Jesus through whom and for whom everything is created, possesses the fullness of life. And so everything can be reconciled in Him. Everything, everyone could come together, could come close to one another in Jesus Christ. This is a vision not only of church, but also a vision of the whole of reality. Whenever we feel that we are distant from one another, not only human beings distant from other human beings, but we distant from other creatures, St. Paul reminds us, we all belong to the fullness of the Son of God, who is Jesus.
And so in Him and through Him, we can bridge our gaps. We can be near to one another. In fact, the vision of the Father is to bring all things, all of creation into one in Jesus Christ. So in Jesus Christ, nothing, no one is far from me. This, I think, is a beautiful combination. In the first reading, the command, the law of the Lord is near us. The word of the Lord is near us. In the second reading, it is not just the law. It is not just a word that is written. It is the very word of God incarnate, Jesus, who is near to us. So we are being brought by the Lord closer and closer to Him. And by being close to Him, we will be close to one another. I think this is the secret of the call to universal love. How can we love someone or something that we consider distant from us? But what will bridge us to them? Christ. He is the living word. He is the commandment of love incarnate, and He is not far away. He is within us.